Good morning, friends. It's time for math. And in math today, we're playing a new game. This is a review game on tally marks. We're always working on tally marks. And this is a review game. And I thought we'd have a little fun with this today in a game format. So let me pull up. I've got some new screens. We're actually working on that editing screen that I was trying to do last time. It takes a long time to kind of learn all these new things, but hopefully with what we've learned here, when we get back into the classroom in a couple of weeks, we can use those to enhance what we do in the classroom. So let me pull up the game and I'll show you the game first. So let me share my screen and let me find the game and there it is. It's called Roll, write, tally, and show. That's a big word. That's a big lot of words up there. So we're just going to write, call it tally rally. All right. Because a rally is a kind of a game and a race and a fun, fun thing. So here's my game. And here's the new program. This is a 3D paint that's on my computer. Um, it comes standard, I think, with Windows. So you know, if you're if you get older, you know, in Miss Christie's class, you're working on some reports, you're trying to edit photos. This is really a great thing to do, a great thing to use. You can see it's got a lot of a lot of things. It can zoom my screen. It's got some shapes and some effects. And we'll work on these a little bit. What's up? What's up here? What did I see in here? Yep. We've got some effects and some things to play with and try. So we've got lots of fun to have with this new 3D program. But this game, this is a game I was telling you that we were trying to get back to the folder games. Um, one, because my internet's kind of spotty today. What do you do if you're counting on the internet and it's just not working right? Or it's so pain take, painstakingly slow that you can't even bear to use it. Well, this is what you do. You go to a plan B. So this is roll, write, tally. We're going to call it rally, tally, rally. And we're going to put this on our paper. So let me come back to a share. And there's my lined paper. This is what you'll need. You'll need a, lined, a piece of lined paper for this today. And let's write our name and date. Our name. Oh, there it is. Just running slow. I've got a lot of programs open. And three, five, 21. And this game is, we're gonna put M for math. Give me a colon right there. And we'll call this Tally Rally. T-A-L-L-Y, rally. Okay, and let's do a yes, no. Let me start my yes, no's down here. You can start them up here if you want. Uh, see how I get in the way of my Y's right there? I'll start my yes, no's right down here on the next line. Now, this game, we get to use Toy Theater. They've got some number cubes, all kinds of number cubes, and they're a lot of fun. So I thought we'd work with those today. Um, I love the sounds they make, the, the sound when it rolls and it rattles. So that's a lot of fun. Um, but the dice will diff are different. You'll notice that the dice on the game are standard dice that uses the dots to indicate the, the, let me show you, I'll come back and show you here. Right here, these die right here, these dice right here have the dots on them and they mean the number five, but the ones that I have in toy theater, I found some like these, but they don't make cool sounds when you roll and they don't roll very fun. So I'd, I wanna use these other ones, but they're number cubes. So they'll have their numbers on them and they'll 
So we'll have to adapt this, okay? So coming back to my share, let's find my die, and there they are, my dice. Okay, we've got two, I'm not sure I can get a full screen on there, so I'm gonna leave it like it is, and I'm not sure I can get it minimized without that. Um, so we need one die for this. When you use one, it's called a die and not dice, and it is a number cube. You'll see it right here, okay? So we'll convert it to dots over on the other paper, all right? So here we go. Let's have, let's start from the back of the room today, and we're going to have um, KJ. What have KJ start with this one? So KJ, you want to throw the die for us? See, it doesn't have a good cool sound. I love that. It makes the number two. Okay, so let's go back to our game, which is right here. Oh. Forget, I have to move it with these. Okay, and as you can see, they rolled the number cube. And they rolled down the, they showed the number that was on the die. They showed the number that was on the, the number that it means. And they showed that many tally marks. And then they put those in a 10 frame. Okay, so that's what we're going to work on today. And KJ rolled a six. So how do we do this? We write a number six right here oh, that's turning out nice and on the die it has six dots it's got one two three four five six okay and then tally marks remember we said tally marks are down two i'm sorry one two three four cross all right, so we go tally marks, go one, two, three, four, cross is five, and one more is six, okay? And then we need to put it in our 10 frames. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and here's how we're going to translate this to paper. Let me get this minimized. And, oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Uh, resume my share. Sorry. I think I messed that up here. There we go. Now we got it back. here and let's try that again doing it this way there's my paper and the first one was the number six so we need to draw six spots on the die one two three four five six and then they asked us to show the number, which is six. And then they asked us to show the tallies, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then they asked us to do a 10 frame, which is something we haven't done a lot of, but we've got some neat manipulatives with this too. So maybe we'll start working on this. And a 10 frame is in, it looks like an ice cube tray to me. It looks like this. And it's set out so you can count sets of five. One, two, three, four, five, and one more is six. Okay? So that's how you do a 10 frame, and that's our first one. Let's go back up to the next. It will be Jamia's turn to roll the die. 
I my die for Jamia. And here we go. Throw those that, that die. We have the number five. Jamia got five, so let's go back to my game. And here it is. So we need to make a five. Well, well, actually, that's we can leave it there. There is one in the center. One, two, three, four, five. And then we've got the number five. And then we do five tallies. One, two, three, four, five. And then five in my 10 frame is one, two, three, four, five. Very good, very good. Let's translate that to our paper. Okay, and here's how we write it. We do one, five spots, one, two, three, four, five. And we have the number five. And we have five tally marks. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have a five, 10 frame. So we put five dots on top. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm not going to ask you to make this grid over here. It's a little difficult. I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you write it out. Okay. Next is, let's see, we did KJ and Jamia. Now we're back to Austin. Austin's going to roll for us. And Austin, we're going to ramp this up. Can we ramp it up? I think we can. We can ramp it up. Let's use two die. All right, let's try it. We've been working with these. Let's try. All right, and we have a five and a one. Okay. Let's do new share right here. And we have two die. We have a five and a one. So let's draw our spots in here. We have one that's got five, two, three, four, five. We'll draw another die over here. And he only has one. And what is five plus one? Six again. I'm glad we're doing this. I'm glad we're ramping it up because we can handle this. Now we need six tallies. One, two, three, four. Cross is five, and one more is six. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You notice how it's the exact same as this? But look, we have two ways to do six. We've got six on this die, and then we have two die for the five and a one that makes six. Very good, let's translate that over transfer over to our paper. There we go, we need, we had a five and a one. So our first die, had a one, and our second die, had five. And that gives us a total, five plus one is six. And my tally marks are one, two, three, four, cross is five, and one more is six. And my 10 frame dots are one, two, three, four, five. And that's all I can have on that row. So I come down to the next one, which is six, okay? Next up, 
is, let's see, Austin and Jeff. It's Jeff's turn. Jeff, give us a big number. Oh, that is a big number. We've got a two and a six. Let's see what that does. Come back to paper. A two and a six. So we've got one die here. Mm. Ah, ran out of paper space. We're off the edge of the paper. Can't write it on the table, can I? So we have a two and a six. And what is two plus six, Jeff? That's six, seven, eight, because we always put the big number in our head. So now we have an eight. Okay. And how do we write that in tally marks? We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And then we put it in our 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. All right. Very nice. So now let's get that over. I'm going to move it down a little bit. There we go. Get it over on our paper. Okay. This one. We have two die, two dice. That's a pair of dice. Ah, ah, ah. Mom and dad's would get that one. Two and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That gives us a total of what did we say, Jeff? Eight. And our tally is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we write our dots. Only five on each line. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. And that's all we can do. So we start down on the next line. Six, seven, and eight. Very good. Now up is Hunter. Let's have Hunter roll. All right, Hunter, give us a big one. Oh, he did give us a big one, six and four. So one of our die has six and the other one has four. Let's go back to our paper or our game. And we've got six. And this one has four. And what is six plus four, Hunter? Hunter knows. Hunter, you are quick. With your math facts, friend, you really are. What is six plus four? He put six in his head and four on the dice or spots or touch points or fingers, and he gets six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this answer is ten. Okay, and we need to make ten tally marks. So we go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we need to put it in our ten frames. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, in our ten frame. Let's transfer that to our paper. Uh, 
was six and four. Six. Six, four, that makes 10. And on my tally marks, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we did the spots. That's 10 on each line, or five on each line. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're doing great. If you need to pause the video right now and catch up, go right ahead. Pause your video and catch up. All right. And now we'll go and do the next one. Let's see. Hunter did that when it's Preston's turn. Okay, Preston, throw the dice. He's got a four and a two. So we'll go up and put it in our game. Four and two, so our first die has four. And two. What is four and two, Preston? Four, five, six, easy peasy. And then we go four, and we, so we do six tallies. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and then we put it in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And on to the next one. Oh, we need to put it on our paper. And two, so our first die. That's four, one, two, three, four. Second die, that's two, one, two. That makes six. And we do tally marks, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, and six spots. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, we have just written the same number three different, four different ways, okay? Why? Why would we do that? Why would we take all that time to do that? Because the more way you do it, the more ways you do it, you're learning to manipulate numbers. You're, you need, you're learning to see that you don't just represent a number one way. There are four, many different ways to represent a number. And here are four. It gets your mind switching back and forth between the ways to represent a number. So let's go back to the next one. Who's up? Let's see, Preston did one. Now it's Brianna's turn. Ready, Brianna? Brianna's got a five. And a five. Let's go put it in our game. There it is. And my game down a little bit. Five and five. We have one, two, three, four, five. And a five. This is a game we have in the classroom. I've got these cards in the classroom, and sometimes we sometime we can play them with dry erase markers. Okay, 
So what is five plus five, Brianna? Easy peasy, that's 10. You know that easy, okay? And let's do it in tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then write it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, very good. Let's put that on our paper. Tony Brooks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, ten spots, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. You guys are doing great. I think it's Kylie's turn. I think it's Kylie's turn. Kylie, let's throw the die. Click on the button. All right, she's got a three and a two. Let's go put it in our game. Three and a two. Oh, great. That's nice to know I can use that. I will need it for Ryland. Two, three, and two. All right. What is three plus two, Kylie? Three in your head, five on your finger, or two on your fingers. Three, four, five. And that's an easy tally mark. One, two, three, four, five. And then five spots. One, two, three, four. All right, very good. Let's come back and get Rylan. Oh, we gotta put it on our paper, I almost forgot. Three and two on our paper, it goes. We're using a lot of paper today. Okay. Three. One, two, three, one, two, three plus two is five, says Rylan. And that is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And no, that was Kylie. Kylie, I'm sorry. I put Rylan in there. This was Kylie's. Kylie, we had three and two is five. Now let's get Rylan and Kylie together. We'll let them do it together this time again. Okay. Oh, here we go. Rylan, you get to throw the die. Kylie gets a six. I'm sorry, Rylan gets a six and a two. Let's put it on our game. Kylie and Ryland both are going to work this one today. So we need a six and a two, and I do have some space down here. Just enough for one more student. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need a two up here. And what is six plus two, Ryland? Six, seven, eight. Is right there, eight. So we have one, 
two, three. Oh, oh what did I do wrong there? That was a mistake. Okay. Oh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. And then my eight spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. Let's put it on our paper. Six, two, three, four, five, six, number two, one, two, that made eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight spots, one, two, four, five, six, seven, KJ and Brianna, I'm giving you two a ramp up on this. Actually, I'm gonna give this Jeff, Brianna and KJ. I want you to ramp up on this, okay? I'm going to give you two more numbers on this. I'm going to give you this number and I'm going to give you this number. Your ramp up is to fill in these. This is just a ramp up for the blue group in math. That's going to be Jeff, Brianna, and KJ. Okay, give me a ramp up, you guys. I think you guys can handle a little extra on that. All right, if you feel like you want to do the ramp up, you can, but that's not necessary unless you're Brianna, KJ, or Jeff. All right, there you go. Good share, good game, nice job. And I will see you next for handwriting.